For us in Nigeria, as I said, we are very, very well endowed. We are gifted. We have the resource. So we are resource rich and as such we have absolutely no business with being energy poor. And that is what you saw in terms of my uh, reflections and how I came through. We can do a lot with what we have. Other countries have gone ahead to do the same. There's absolutely no reason why Nigeria should continue to be seen as, uh, as energy poor. Uh, to cap this all off, I want to also ask you, sir, what do you think about, I mean, moving away from fossil fuel now, what do you think about uh, energy liberalization in terms of um, people being able to produce and sell to, uh, you know, sell to the grid and, you know, off-grid channels? Well, you cannot hold energy down. You hold yourself down. Uh, you must liberalize, uh, you must deregulate, you must create uh, a free market. I mean, we've seen uh, countries that ordinarily, if everything was centralized under government, they probably would struggle. But they have opened up to the extent that if I put a solar grid in my house and I produce enough to satisfy my demand, but I have excess, you make the opportunity for me to put it in a central grid where you pay me. That is the future that everyone should be looking forward to. But you cannot achieve that if it is heavily regulated and then uh, strangulated by control. So you, can't, you don't have a choice. The world has gone beyond you know, controlling energy. You can't hold energy down.